hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to upgrade fortigate firmware uh, by following the upgrade path so first of all you need to log into your uh, fortigate device uh, if it's a new device it will be admin and blank password um, so i'm just gonna log in with the username admin i have already configured one password on my firewall so i just need to put that password and log in now just click on later if that message is showing sometimes it will not show because if you have already configured some of the stuff in your fortigate so right now you can see that the fortigate firmware version is 622 and we need to find the upgrade path of 100e model from 622 to the latest version so let's just click on download and go to the firmware images and here we have uh, click on upgrade path and choose the model of our fortigate which is 100e and the correct, correct uh, version that you are using now 622 both of you will get it from the dashboard and we will be upgrading to the latest version so that we can see the upgrade path so right now you can see 622 our build number is 1010 and we need to update it to 644 so we have to upload three firmware files 640 initially then 642 then 644 with the build number 157n 1723 and 1803 so let's download the corresponding versions that is mentioned let's go to the version 6 and 6.4 6.4.0 we need to download and no no 6.4.0 in the Fortigate models, we need to find our model, Fortigate 100E. Let's uh, click on uh, HTTPS, it will download the firmware file. Still the page is loading. There is something wrong with the um, internet stuff. So let's download 6.4.2 as well. So the other one is downloading now, let's download the 642 go to 64 then 642 find your 40 gate model whatever model you are using i'm using a 100e so we need to click on https again choose the download location click on save let's keep it in uh, downloads so you can see right now two files are downloading we'll have to download one more files which is the latest one 644 click on the 644 and go to the 100e model again as before and click on https great so we have uh, already three files downloading we have to wait for it to finish then we will follow the upgrade path for upgrading one after the other so right now you can see all the three um, files have been downloaded and we just need to go to the firewall again we just need to log in again it's uh, session was expired and i was uh, logged out automatically so we'll have to log in again and click on later let's uh, click on system under the system click on firmware and we need to down we need to choose the firmware file so from 622 the first one we are going to have is um, let's verify this one again I, I forgot almost let's choose one more time 622 and then 644 and go so the first one is build 157n downloads and c6157 uh, this is the one we need to upgrade so just uh, upload that one just select the file and click on backup configuration and upgrade so if there is any problem with our firmware file the new one we can just roll back to the previous firmware that's why we have taking automatic backup before upgrading the uh, firmware so right now i have saved it with the name and it's upgrading and the system is rebooting we have to finish it it will take some time maybe three minutes to five minutes normally so we'll have to wait it now it's back from um, 
uh, configuration uh, we have already upgraded the first path to the first path 1579 now we have to proceed to the next step click on system again go to the firmware under the system and we need to find the second file which with the build number 1723 click on continue we need to have we will have one more backup file for this specific um, firmware as a backup file we need to have it because if something goes wrong we can just roll back that's fine it's installing image it will reboot again same like before we will have to wait for it to finish three to five minutes so uh, the procedure is going to be same for all models it's firmware upgrade in 40 gig uh, devices are completely same you just need to follow the upgrade path to avoid any any problems with the device let's try to reboot the um, reload the browser session still it's not up we have to wait to come online make sure you're downloading the correct version of your um, Fortigate model because if you are switching the model then maybe your device will be unable to use it will be bricked let's log in again with the username and password and click on login click on later again as like before click on ok now we are going to update the latest firmware by following the path click on the firmware under the system and we need to upload the latest firmware file 1803 backup config and upgrade same like before nothing to change we still have one more backup file so we need to save it in case if there is any error we have to roll back let's download mm, and after that it's installing the image it will reboot the system and it will come back after the reboot so we just uh, successfully upgraded the firmware following three steps in your case maybe you will have to follow five or six nothing to worry just download and upgrade because you must follow the upgrade path so we are already in 644 i believe this video was helpful to you guys thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye